I think he was trying to get there thinking we were at school. He just so high, he was thrown off. We heard the sirens come, they laxed up, because I'm trying to get out the whole time. And like, maybe if I give him a hug or something, he stopped tripping. They said, get away, go in the room, go in the room. But when they heard the sirens, they slipped and I got by him. Wishing I would never did, I end up actually eyewitnessing my father's chest blown out with a shot. Sirens. All I hear is sirens. The police did that to him? Yeah. We all knew that the shotgun didn't work. Even my auntie, when she was calling the police, she even stated the gun doesn't work. But he still could hit one of us upside the motherfucking head. That was her exact word. I remember this like yesterday. And my father was probably about 15 to 20 feet from the officer. And I was about 30 feet behind my father. A flinch. And it, it was like that police was like Robocop. That's how I remembered it. It looked like Robocop. He turned into John Murphy. Boom, 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 boom. And I go try to run. So as I run to him, he pulls up the shot. Get out. Get back. Get back. Like, he's hysterical. This dude makes a 10-year-old boy get down on the ground beside his dying father. And all I hear is violence. All I hear is violence. All I hear is violence. When I walk in the room, niggas is silent. All I hear is silence.